Hi, welcome to the Crafty Castle. My name is Janelle, and I am so happy you're here today. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you here and join the family. As always, I am so thankful for everybody's um, support. I'm going to be showing you guys how I did um, a couple of DIYs for Easter and spring, uh, which can easily be transformed in, into um, something for um, summer, and also how I transformed my little coffee area which has looked the same for a while and it was time for me to change it up a little bit all this stuff is pretty affordable and it was either stuff I already had or that was really inexpensive so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time bye okay let's get started with the first DIY and this DIY is gonna be how we changed our lanterns for um, Easter so we're gonna start out by making a little nest with um, just little branches and twigs from outside um, we, my husband helped me with this while I was recording, but um, all we did was pretty much um, broke little old twigs and shaped them into um, a little nest and just started stacking them. Once we had the desired shape in there and um, the, the you know, when it looked like an actual nest, um, that's when I started adding this little um, lavender stems from Dollar Tree and I just cut a few pieces and um, you could definitely do more, do less. You can get creative with this. You could do different types of flowers. It's up to you. Um, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna arrange these in um, one of the back corners of the nest because I wanted it to be a little, you know, springtimey, but um, I didn't want it to overpower the, um, the lantern itself, if that makes sense. So I just added, um, some of the lavender stems, some of the little leaves that come in the stems. And once I'm happy with the amount of flowers I want, then I will add some of these Easter eggs, also from Dollar Tree. You could definitely color these and, and speckle them and get creative with them, but I just kept them white and um, I was happy with them, so I kept them that way. I feel like it's beautiful just like this. Um, you could definitely keep them this simple. But I'm going to add a bow on the very top of my little lantern um, just to add a little rustic touch. Um, also from Dollar Tree. Um, once I added that bow, I cut the end pieces in an, into an angle. And that's pretty much all I did for the lanterns. I made two of them and they are absolutely gorgeous. All right, and this is what my little lanterns look like. And now that they are finished, I feel like they are so beautiful. Please let me know what you think. Okay, so the next thing I will be doing is changing my just plain cotton wreath that I had and I'm going to transform it into a little springtimey wreath. All I'm going to do is I'm going to add the same um, lavender stamps that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I think I used about six bunches for my entire wreath and all I did is I just winded, them, winded each little stem into the cotton wreath itself. If you have any questions how I do this, I have a more detailed video on my fall time um, DIYs. I fall DIY video so I'll link it down below but all I do is pretty much I just insert the little lavender stems in there and did all the same thing all the way around and I reused my hello sign I already had in previous videos and there you go brand new wreath super easy I didn't want to do too I didn't want to do too too much for this video because it's pretty easy and like I said I didn't I've made these before so I can just link another video and you'll see how I do it but no, I don't glue anything I don't use any wire uh, I did use a little wire for the hello sign though that's the only thing I used wire for the next thing I will be showing you guys is um, my little coffee area which I'm super excited about 
This is the before, um, which I've had for a while. Um, a little coffee sign on the left is from Hobby Lobby, and um, my jars are just from random spots, so I really can't remember where I got them from. They're so old. But we are transforming it today. Excuse my face. Um, and let's just start out with a clean counter. I cleaned it off and removed everything from there. And we are going to get going with this. Um, I already had this basket that I'm going to be showing you guys. I got it from a um, Goodwill, I think, at one point. It's pretty big and I still love it. Uh, and then I'm going to be adding some greenery to the corner and one of my little um, jars I already had. Um, you could easily just leave the greenery by itself, but I did buy some um, lavender stems from Walmart, which if I had to choose from the lavender stems from Dollar Tree or the ones from Walmart, 100% the Walmart ones are way, way better and prettier. So if you're going to invest, I mean, this, these stems right here are from um, Walmart and they were a dollar a bunch also and they are way prettier, better quality than the ones from Dollar Tree, but I had bought the Dollar Tree ones already by the time I found these, so um, I also added some of those to the jar. And these two containers um, with the roosters on them, I purchased from Hobby Lobby, um, I think last month in the clearance section i think they were like five dollars each and i was absolutely in love with it and they match pretty good with the lavender and just to um place my little carrot cups i'm gonna be using this little um metal container from the dollar store and i'm gonna put my little carrot cups in there it worked fine it looked rustic and beautiful and it was only a dollar and just to um, make it a little bit prettier i'm gonna add one of the lavender stamps also in there and um, I thought I looked beautiful. I'm also going to be adding my little um, coasters here on the corner that I love. Um, and the last thing I will be adding is my little teapot right here just for... Um, a decorative touch it's not necessarily gonna be used but I thought it was really pretty all right this is the after shot of my um, coffee area I'm in love with it couldn't be happier I hope you guys enjoy it I will see you guys on my next video love you take care